Hassan Diab was freed three years ago due to a lack of evidence. But today, France's Court of Appeal ruled the Canadian University professor must end trial. Diab is accused in the 1980 bombing of a Paris synagogue that killed four people and injured more than 40 others. CTV's Kevin Gallagher reports. This is devastating. Um, this has hung over a family's head. There's husband, a wife, two little children. A potential trial is likely years away, as Diab's legal team appealed the decision to France's Supreme Court. He was held in a French prison for three years, often in solitary confinement. But the case against Diab was dropped in 2018 over a lack of evidence. Not only is there no new evidence of guilt, there is additional overwhelming evidence of innocence. Diab's lawyer says his client was in Lebanon writing university exams when the bombing took place. Fingerprint evidence doesn't match and handwriting evidence has been dismissed as unreliable by several international experts. Diab's legal team says France continues to target the sociology professor because of pressure from groups seeking justice for the victims. It's a suspect at all costs, trial at all costs, um, and, and, and this is extremely disappointing again. Last year, Diab filed a lawsuit against the Canadian government claiming negligence that violated his rights and resulted in his extradition to France. Now, his lawyers want Canada to request an end to the prosecution against him. Kevin Gallagher, CTV News, Ottawa.